The table summarizes results from pedestrian deaths that were caused by automobile accidents. Okay, so, for, so it's always important, you know, when you begin these table problems, we're going to have a lot of table problems, especially in uh, the next, the sections that come after this one. So let's uh, make sure we're reading and understanding the table. So pedestrian, so was the driver, so this is accidents, right? Deaths, actually deaths, that's terrible. A pedestrian, somebody, you know, not in a car, a pedestrian died in an automobile accident that's terrible, a car hit a, hit a person. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's take a look here. So the drivers, was the driver intoxicated? Yes or no? Was the pedestrian intoxicated? Yes or no? And so then we have different numbers here. So, um, so what do we know about these 56 people right here? Yeah, well, in, in the accident that occurred and, and the pedestrian died, both the pedestrian was intoxicated and so was the driver, right? It's a yes, yes. So in those 56 deaths where a car hit a person and they died, both the driver and the pedestrian, the person walking, right? Pedestrian is the uh, person walking. Both, both of them were intoxicated. Whereas what about these 260? In these 260 accidents, deaths of a pedestrian. The pedestrian was drunk. Pedestrian was drunk. What about the driver? No. No. Uh, driver was not. Yeah, so the driver was not, the pedestrian was, so probably the pedestrian was, was I mean, it, it might suggest the pedestrian was more at fault. He or she might have walked on a freeway or out on a street, something crazy, because he was drunk, but the driver was not. And then in these 81 cases here, what do we know? That the driver was intoxicated. <laughs> driver was intoxicated, pedestrian was not. So yeah. probably that suggests it was the driver's fault, right? The driver was intoxicated, but the uh, pedestrian was not. So the driver might have done something crazy like drive up on a sidewalk or something, you know. And then finally, what about in these 586 cases? Nobody was drunk. Yeah, neither the driver nor the uh, pedestrian was intoxicated. It was just some terrible accident not involving intoxication where a pedestrian died. All right, so being clear then on the table, let's, let's go for the question. If one of the pedestrian deaths is randomly selected, find the probability that the driver was not intoxicated. So if we're gonna select one of these cases at random, that's what they're asking. So let me write it down here for us. So the probability, um, oh, dri driver, right? Driver was not. Probability, driver not intoxicated. So if you were to grab one of these cases at random, what's the probability that the driver was not intoxicated? So you know how we do probability, right? We have to put the total at the bottom, always the total at the bottom. At the top, whatever we want, in this case, driver not intoxicated. Huh. So that's, that's always, I hope that's getting more comfortable for you. That's always how we do probability. We put whatever they're saying on the top, in this case, driver not intoxicated, and the bottom is always the total. So then we look at that table. It would be the total over one, or, or the total on the bottom with the one on the top? Bottom. Well, yeah, so on the top, it's, it's all the driver not intoxicated. and the bottom, it's the total of, of everybody. So um, why, why don't we get some, why don't we go over to the table and get some totals over here? You can do a total right here. So if you just add. Well, yours would be 260 over whatever the total is. 
Uh, it would be the 260 and the 586, right? Right, right. We have to add those two together because both those groups are, are driver not intoxicated. Yeah. Let's see. I'm using my calculator here. I'm getting 846. Yeah. See, all these, this whole row, the driver is not intoxicated, huh? So there's the total number. Well, well, I, I mean, not use the word total, it's probably confusing. These are all the cases in which the driver is not intoxicated. Right, there's eight hunts. That's going to be my numerator, isn't it? There's 846 cases in which the driver was not intoxicated. In 260 of them, the pedestrian was intoxicated. In 586, the pedestrian was not. But they're all cases in which the driver was not intoxicated. And then on the bottom, I have to put the total, total, like, like everything, everything. How do I find the total of all the people, all the cases? Add them all together? Yeah. Just add up these numbers plus 137. 983? Yeah, 983. 983. Now you could just add up these four numbers if you wanted. You would get the same answer. 983. Do you see how I did it a different way, but it's going to be the same result? Because I just added across and across. So this was the first two numbers. This was the second two numbers. And so when I added those, I had all four numbers. Or you can just individually add the four numbers and you'll get the total total. 983. Yeah, so then divide those on your calculator. Um, I'm getting 0.86063. They want four decimal places again. Seems like that's what they always want. So Wait, divide, no, divide them by what? Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. All right. Divide those on the calculator and you'll come up with your answer. That's right. Okay. So I divide and then I got around, so it's just 0.8606.